Right, okay, so I am here at the Denon stand, NAM 2019, with Jay from Denon DJ. Shake my hand, man. bro, yeah. We are here looking at the Prime 4. It's just come out, it got announced when? Uh, last Thursday. Last Thursday, so literally, brand spanking new. This is the first that we've seen of it. Um, I've had a little play on it, just, just a tiny little play. But uh, Jay is going to talk us through all of the features of it and stuff like that now. So please, Jay, give me the spiel, mate. Because right. Ed, this is the talk of, of the mobile <laughs> DJ, the club DJ. Everyone wants to know about it, man. Yeah, so yeah, right. let's, okay. let's, let's get into it. Cool. Okay, well, look, at its very core, it is a world's first four-channel standalone DJ console. As well as the four channels, you have two additional mic channels as well. So a lot of the time, your mic channels might have to sacrifice one of these. This is near. You've got four of these, two outputs. Loads of connectivity and options with the microphones. Three band EQ on the mic one, two band EQ, dedicated echo mic, talk over feature, and a load of features within the settings to really kind of customize that as well. Quite clearly, the centerpiece of this 10 inch HDB touch multi gesture screen. Uh, make sure you can get all of that in there as well. So you can really kind of see the clarity and what you're seeing from a performance view and then from a live view, really nice and easy to be able to go up and down and see what's going on. Your bangers, mate. Bangers, you can't live without your bangers. You've got to have your bangers. <laughs> yeah. Um, mate, that, that screen is, um, it is mega actually and it's like really, really HD, really like you yeah, know, it's, it's, you know, it's like having an iPad on there. Yeah, you know? yeah, it is, it is, and as well, because something that a lot of the, uh, a lot of our customers were asking about, obviously, mobile-wise, that is a big old screen that sits up, but yeah. it, it goes. So we also can adjust it. It folds down. Yeah, you can have it. So, yeah, and go. then and then that's how you obviously transport it and. And it also comes with, uh, there's a protective case that will come of it as well, just so you can kind of keep it in transport. We are working with uh, UDG and Odyssey and a few bag manufacturers to come out with a hard and soft case with this as well, so okay. people can protect it while they're taking it around yeah, or yeah. they need to take it around. So, mate, I mean, I've had a little go on it, and obviously I've played on the Prime series, yeah. you know, quite quite a lot, the yeah. um, SC5000s and the X1800. Yeah. For me, this is so, so similar. Oh uh, yes, you definitely get that familiarity. Anyone that's kind of come from that original Prime series, this is an extension of the Prime family. Yeah. You know, this is kind of showing Den and DJ's dedication to that Prime series. Different price points, different styles, different functionality. You know, this is aimed at that kind of professional DJ, whether you're a mobile, home user, you know, wherever it may be, Bars may want this because of the zone feature which I'm going to show you. Yeah. You know, it gives you some great flexibility. Yeah. So I'll give you some of the kind of the highlights that we've worked on. So number one, uh, aside from uh, obviously the screen and the four channels, we've got this zone feature here. Now essentially what that is, that is a separate output that goes to another room, another location, wherever it may be. The three stereo outputs, all XLR balanced, Neutrik connectors, all nice and pro. So if I just select that zone output, it's going to tell me this will stop playback on deck four because it's only utilizing deck four. Hit continue, now it's asking me for a playlist. I go to library, pick a playlist, hit center zone, and that is it, that's done. I then go to channel four, hit play, and now that playlist is playing to a completely independent area while I've still got three channels and two microphones for the main room. Is there a way that you can kind of see visually what's playing out of the zone now? So the first in the, the first kind of iteration of this is gonna be, so the green bar will indicate what track is playing. I can skip through the tracks. Right. There'll be future development of this. At this stage, it's about getting that functionality out yeah, there. Yeah. You know, there have been some great feedback about how people use it. And once people start using it, you know, at the core, this unit is designed based on what people want. You know, Den and DJ listen to people. We want to hear, you know, we're interested to hear how you're going to use it so we can then figure out how to make this even better than, uh, than it is right now. That's awesome. So some of the other kind of key things to show you as well is the musical key adjustment. Again, never been done before on a hardware standalone unit. All I need to do is hit, hit the key notation and we're probably not going to pick this up too much. That's going up 12 semitones all the way down. So I've got total kind of key manipulation 
In, adjust, in addition to that, I can do key syncs. All I need to do is hold this one down, and what will happen is now, I'll now be able to key match the songs as well. So again, first time that's ever done, and I can tell you as well, that functionality is going to be coming soon on the SC5000 oh, wow, okay. and the M as well. Did you hear that? Heard it here first, the DJ kit. I'm going to show you two more things that are going to come on there as well. So if you go into the library modes, uh, what we've got up here before you had icons showing BPM, key, what have you. Now you select BPM and you're given this beautiful menu. I want to sort by artist or I want to sort by BPM. It goes in and you can toggle up and down. That feature is also going to come up on the SE5 thing, it's in the M. And the last thing that I'm going to show you, which is just, I've never, never ever seen this anywhere else. If there's a little edit icon here, I'm going to tap on that. I can now create a new crate. Let's call it test, hit crate. So I've now got a new playlist on here. I can go into any of these playlists, select a few songs, hold down, drag them into that playlist. Wow. And there we go. That's Click awesome. Done. Man. So I can edit, remove, reorganize, create new crates, and that's all saved to whatever device that you've got as well. And that functionality also is going to be going on to the SE5000 okay. and the M. So connection wise, uh, we've gone we've gone absolutely crazy. We've got two USB connections up at the top, we've got two around the back, and there's also an SD card so that's five devices, but underneath there's a two and a half inch SATA drive bay as well, which you can install. You can do up to kind of two, four terabytes, but we've stress tested a one terabyte SSD, and that's what we kind of recommend is the best thing. I mean, you know, a one terabyte drive, you can yeah. get a lot of music. Oh, mate, there. yeah, 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 yeah. And that's easy to update. Once that's installed, you take a USB B cable, you plug it into your laptop or computer that's running Engine Prime, you run this in controller mode, and then all Engine Prime sees this like an external drive. Yeah. You just drag all your songs, your playlist, whatever, eject it as you normally would, and there you go, the device so, is fully up to date. So it's got a built-in system in it, so like because because at, at the moment all, all of the tunes on here, you know, there's no SD card and no USBs actually yeah. plugged yeah. in. Yeah. So 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 this has all been dragged in. Okay, here we go. So you yeah. go to source. You see that's that's the Prime 4 SSD internal. So I should stress that's something you do need to buy extra and put in there. But just a normal SATA two and a half inch uh, internal drive will work. And that will that's gone in there right now. So if I put a USB and an SD card, it will list all the individual sources, and it will tell you in brackets yeah. whether it's a USB or an S yeah. SD. Yeah. So drive. so again, similar to the pro to, to the exactly. SD five thousand. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell, exactly. tell you sort of which one it is and where it is and stuff. Um, mate, I mean, you know, the, talk us through the effects a little bit. Okay. Like, yeah, because obviously on. You know, I, I keep kind of comparing this to the Prime series because it, it's obviously the Prime, yeah, yeah, the Prime yeah. 4. But, you know, on the SC5000, uh, on the X1800, sorry, and on, you know, the other kind of sort of uh, DJ controllers and standalones that are out at the moment, you know, your effects, you'll find them around here and, and yeah. stuff like that. So, I mean, you've got these sweep effects, which yeah. are... Um, you know, you've got four sweep effects here, right? Yes, I'll talk you through. So, and then, oh, first of all, I stress this mixer has been built from the ground up. Okay. Obviously, modelled on the style of the X1800 and the SC5000. So, if I just get you over to FX2, so you've got two banks of effects. There are 14 effects in each of these. Again, taken from the X1800 mixer uh, effects that you've got. Each effect has got three different parameters and a beat control to really, these are your kind of, let's go a little bit deeper, really think about those effects. And then what we've got on here is the filter, sweep, echo, wash and noise. So what we've done here, that's a total kill. We've got the echo, post fader, noise, and then your wash out. So those can both be stacked on top of each other as well. From a kind of performance perspective, again, anyone with the SE5000 will be familiar with this, but you've got your eight saved hot cues, your eight loops, hit it again, and then you've got predetermined loops from 32 all the way down to an eighth of a beat. You've got your rolls, so you've got your straight rolls from two beats down to a quarter, and you've got your triplets, you've got the slicer mode, which will kind of chop up those beats. Yeah. Hit that again, and that'll do a slicer mode loop between uh, between two bars. So there's, it's packed full of ways to be able to kind of 
enhance that creativity that DJs want, whether using effects or the performance pads yeah. in there as well. And I mean, I know you've already spoken about the mics. There's there's two dedicated mics. You don't need to have mics into the channels of the mixer, no. so so you can have two mics and use four channels at, at, at the same time, which Absolutely. is great. Um, so uh, the mics have got EQ as well, and then you've got effects on on, on the yeah. mic as well. So what uh, microphone one has a three band EQ. Microphone 2 is a two-band EQ, and then there's a separate echo on or off for each of the microphones. And here's the wet and dry setting for that echo. You've also got, obviously, engage and disengage the mic, and then you've got a talk over option as well. If I show you just nice and quickly the utility settings here, you'll see that you've got talk over level adjustment, talk mic over, resume. Talk over, that's, you know, obviously, that's, 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 really, how, that's yeah. really important yeah, to, yeah. To, to the mobile guys. Yeah, to be able to kind of customize how much that dips, you might want to completely dip it all together, or you might just want to kind of subtle duck yeah. when you're talking. Talk over resume, so that's how quickly the, uh, the music resumes after you've let go of the talk over button. Mic attenuation is amplification for one and two. Send mic to booth, so whether you want that to go to the booth output yeah, or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really yeah. horrible. Oh, mate, it is, um, it, you know, it, uh, to be honest with you, it's really nice and compact. Yeah. Like, it's smaller than, than I thought it was going to yeah. be, but that screen is absolutely massive. Yeah. So, you know, like, what what size are the jogs? Six inch. Six inch yeah. jogs, right? Compared to what size are the jogs on the SC5? Uh, they're, they're eight, okay. So only, not that much of a difference, yeah. yeah. And then you've got the in, uh, in jog displays as well. Exactly, so the high definition display for the artwork, exactly like you have in the SC5000. Yeah. Uh, I should also mention as well, like with the Prime series, we've got the ethernet connection at the pound so that can interface into sound switch so for those of you who don't know that is a lighting control system that will take the real time data from the waveform reading two bars ahead okay. to be able to automate precision lighting control okay cool whether you can automate that you can go in and manually adjust that sure this will also talk to resolume as well so you can have that full av uh, control uh, for anyone watching if you've not checked out the resolute demonstration video on our YouTube it's a two and a half minute video I could sort of give it hours about resolute but clearly my voice is not gonna last that long <laughs> Bless you, mate. and also you need to be able to see what this can do because you know you can have the EQ adjustment will change the color the filter will add distortion the echo will add a stroking effect you can scratch loop and all of those visuals follow it it's just phenomenal to watch it so Mate, my questions then now, yeah. you know, the questions which, to be fair, personally for, for me, yeah. um, will it work with a record box USB? 100% yes. 100% it will. Yeah. So tell me about, so when I put in a record box USB, yeah. what, what happens then? Okay, so basically what happens is you've got your record box USB, you put it into any of the drives, the engine prime internal will see that there's a record box collection and says do you want to import it you click yet and say yes what that's doing is that's taking the record box collection it will create a new folder on that usb drive called engine prime and it will convert those to engine prime format and what that means is it's importing playlists cues and loops everything that you've stored on the everything record box. Stored. it keeps record box uh, database completely untouched just makes a copy of it uh, and it does about 2000 songs a minute super quick what I've what I've said uh, one thing they won't do is it won't analyze those songs that assign the beat because obviously that's a complex algorithm that ours is different from from other people right okay so the best the way that I advise people a little kind of tip for that is if you're importing say a thousand record box tracks once it's analyzed it within the hardware just eject it take it back to your laptop or computer open that drive up in engine prime select all right click select analyze off make yourself a cup of coffee and that'll all be done Bring okay back in here. so so if I put in a USB into this uh, Prime 4 yeah. that hadn't gone through uh, Record Box or hadn't gone through Engine Prime, yeah. what happens then? It will real time analyze it and assign it a beat grid and the key and the BPM. And it stores it all in the... It will store it directly to the Engine Prime. It will create an Engine Prime folder on that drive right, yeah. and it will save that information. Okay, to cool. So, so you don't necessarily, if you have this, you don't necessarily need to have Need to analyze all of your music through engine prime on a laptop first yeah, yeah. you can just plug the usb in and it will analyze it on here absolutely so in effect this is like 
a computer. There's, oh, there's yeah. a computer built in. There's into a core core processor in yeah. there. It's like it's it's insanely powerful. Yeah. One thing I'll add to the record box uh, thing as well. So when you load a track, on average it's taking around uh, 12 seconds to analyze a song to assign the beat grid queue and BPM information. But you can instantly play that song the second that you load it. You can fire the hot cues, you can do loops with it, you'll be able to play that song and then after about 10, 12 seconds, then that beat grid information will populate. Wow. Wow. So mate, tell us how much is it? Uh, in dollars, 16.99. In pounds, uh, mate. Pounds. Sterling, mate. <laughs> I think it's uh, 14.69. 14.69, so under the 1500 mark. Um, right, actually, my final question, yeah. which I, I think I already know the answer to anyway, but is it going to be compatible with Serato? Yes, so out the gate we're saying it comes with Serato. Uh, what will happen is uh, the next update for Serato, you'll be able to use the in controller, HID mode, to be able to use Serato. But right now, you can bring in your Serato collection into Engine Prime and convert it to Engine Prime format, pop in the USB, which is also you can do with Tractor. Awesome. Um, mate, I mean, so it's four channel. That's it, so the, the inputs on the back, can you use this as a standalone mixer? Absolutely, yeah. You can use it standalone yeah, as well. So you've got four analog inputs at the back. So if you just see down here, so four analog inputs, of which two of them are switchable between line and phono, uh, which are three and four. So this will be this is DVS ready, so you can play analog, regular records, or you'll be able to do the DVS mode once the Serato uh, connection has been made. Okay. Cool. Um, mate, I mean, so it's got it's got vinyl or vinyl or the regular CD mode yeah, as or well. CD mode. Yeah, um, all the kind of functionality. That you, that you can you adjust the jogs? Ah, uh, that's the one that you can't. Do. Right, I caught yes. you. I caught. I got, <laughs> caught. We got there in the end. We found yeah. one. Thing <laughs> yeah, do. yeah, yeah. That's true, man. Uh, it is. You know, by the sounds of it, it is an absolute beast. Um, yeah. You know, I've I've had a little play on it already. I'll have another little play again now. Um, but mate, I'll tell you what, Jay, I'll leave it there with you, mate, because yeah, you know you need to save your save, good, save your pipes. But thank nice you so much, it's so right. good to see you. Nice one, um, guys, DJ Kit at Nam 2019. This is what we came for. Um, and to I mean, you're not leaving with it. Well, <laughs> you know, maybe if you turn, but once you turn around, right, we have to bolt this down. Right? <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't wait to actually get my hands on it myself. So, when is it out? When 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 can we Shipping have it? Shipping March. Shipping in March. Okay. So so no kind of date in set in stone yet. Uh, I've learned my lesson on that one. There's 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 room to sort of move it around in that case. All right. Well, yeah, Jay. Honestly, mate, thank you so much for That's making the time. Then. Thank you very much uh, yeah, for it, down. You know, it, um, first impressions of it, it looks really impressive. I'll let you know what I really think of it once I've got to play. <laughs> nice.